Home prices in Hong Kong have remained relatively resilient despite two months of mass protests triggered by a proposed extradition law. However, according to top realty company Midland, transaction volumes have halved for the month of August compared to the first seven months of the year. And as Roland Lim finds out, most analysts are predicting a drop of 10 to 30 percent for home prices going into 2020. The residential neighborhood of Wampo in Hong Kong district, East Kowloon, was rocked by thousands of anti-government protesters on Saturday. Part of a citywide campaign, demonstrations usually end in clashes with police, making people shun protest zones while shops close up early for business. For Ken Lee, who helps run the southeast Kowloon district for Centerline Property, one of the city's biggest realtors, the public unrest has hit business hard. For our real estate business, uh, it's a disaster, I tell you what. Uh, at the beginning of this month, we have zero transaction in the first week of this month. I think we had already dropped about 70% compared with the peak month of this, uh, of this year. In Southeast Kowloon, home prices have dropped by an average of 10% below market price. And for areas prone to protests, asking prices have been more sensitive. Some uh, area like Mong Kok, Chim Sa Joy, Tin Sui Wai or Yun Long uh, maybe have a bit more affected, like, you know, 15%. The price has only dropped for about 10% uh, in the last couple of months. And the uh, transaction dropped a lot because most of the buyer expect maybe 20, 30 percent drop of the price, but the vendors are quite tough. Okay, most of them are not that uh, set with the situation. Overall, average home prices have stayed resilient. Centerline's main property index, which hit a record high in June when the protest started, has only since retreated one percent. Those both buyers and sellers now they are adopting a wait and see approach. First of all, to see what happened you know, next until they make a decision for homeowners, you know, uh, whether or not they will cut price aggressively, I don't think it's uh, like, like it will happen in the short term unless if the situation gets really, really bad. Mr. Lau believes what's keeping prices afloat is a combination of a limited supply situation, low interest rate environment and low unemployment rate. However, transaction volumes have dropped to its lowest level in a year. The drop is over 50% in August compared to the first seven month average. Right? So I think that is understandable because after all if you look at the first seven months monthly average five thousand eight still is much, much higher than two thousand eighteen monthly average residential transaction was only about four thousand nine. So even with or without this incident, I think uh, the uh, the uh, drop in transaction uh, is um, understandable. Other analysts are not so optimistic. Both Morgan Stanley and Bank of America Merrill Lynch expect home prices to drop by 10% in the next 12 months, while DBS is more pessimistic with a 20 to 30% fall in its worst scenario that the violent conflicts persists. Hong Kong's housing market is already the least affordable in the world. And while there are no bargains to be had, analysts say that bargain hunters are willing to bet that prices won't fall much given the chronic supply situation as well as an economy flushed with cash. Roland Lim, TNA, Hong Kong.